Hi, my name is Abdul Sheikh, Chief Technology Officer of Sintra. So at Sintra, we're enterprise cloud architects. As an Oracle Platinum partner for over 20 years, we've been proving the success of our architecture-led solutioning and blueprinted implementation. Now we're at the heart of cloud transformation, moving major enterprise workloads to the cloud, including Oracle eBusiness Suite, SAP, ETG Commerce, FlexCube, and many more. So we're faced with the challenge of the customer running SAP on Oracle, on end-of-life hardware, which was due for a technology refresh to the value of $2.5 million. Right? The customer really didn't want to have to invest lost dollars on that legacy platform, so they approached us and engaged for an objective guidance and view towards an enterprise cloud roadmap strategy. So the customer was really looking for an objective roadmap towards the cloud, and with particular cloud. They were looking at AWS, they were looking at Oracle Cloud, and they really needed to understand how they transform their on-premise technology platform underpinning SAP to the cloud. So that's why they engaged Sintra, for an objective roadmap to the cloud. So how did Sintra respond to that? We looked at our customers' requirements, we looked at their current on-premise estate, and looked at their technology stack, and looked at how they you know, implemented SAP. That's where Sintra's rapid cloud methodology comes into play. A detailed discovery of the on-premise architecture, a agile design of the cloud, showing comparisons between AWS, Oracle Cloud, and also all of the costings and the pricing that go with that. And that really demonstrated that the Oracle Cloud was the natural choice for the customer. So Sintra's blueprinted solution for SAP on Oracle in OCI was made up of a number of key components. The SAP application and web tiers with the load balancing capabilities that we built in, all the storage components required to run the application, web, and database tier, and of course the database engine itself based on Oracle Exadata Cloud Service. So Exadata Cloud Service, interestingly, was only one of the few viable options in terms of an enterprise cloud option, with SAP being certified on the Exadata Cloud Service. So all of this went into towards building our blueprint and our proven solution architecture for SAP in Oracle OCI. So following our recommendation to the Oracle Cloud, customers were really looking for fast, assured cloud success. And that's where Rapid Cloud continued to deliver the benefits to the, to the customer. Fast execution with our blueprinted implementation, fast migration with our migration factory, and then the actual follow-on in terms of managed services that follow that as well. So the customer really sold this internally on a number of key elements. Number one, an objective recommendation. So the CIO specifically wanted to see a comparison between AWS and Oracle, which Sintra provided. In addition, we needed to build a business case to demonstrate how Oracle's cloud was cheaper, faster, and easier to implement. We also built that and provided that business case to the CIO. This was delivered up to the CEO and the management team and the board, and ultimately what that meant to the customer is allowing them to focus on being a retailer. That's what they are. Their business is retail. It's not technology, it's not cloud. That's what Sintra delivered for this cu customer, a fast cloud success and allow them to get on with their business. So Sintra helped customer through this transition, through our full end-to-end -end capability as a managed services provider in the Oracle Cloud, through the design, the implementation, the migration. But key to this was the go-live, the hypercare, the performance optimization, and the managed services wrapper that we provide as an ongoing monitoring and management for this business critical platform for this customer in the cloud. So what does this mean to the customer's business? Remember, this is a B2B retailer. They want to get on with their own business being a retailer. So number one, we helped them avoid $2.5 million worth of on-prem technology refresh costs. Number two, the CEO's mandated objective of getting out of the data center business, this was a major milestone in achieving that objective. And number three, we accelerated their business towards the busy period as a retailer, getting them into the cloud before that busy peak period, and ultimately delivering an optimized application in the cloud with accelerated user experience, performance, and operations.